Reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me Ezekiel back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down to the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate, around to the outer gate facing the east where I saw water trickling in the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east, with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits, and he had me weighed through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more he made me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand, and made me wade. The water was up to my waist, once more he measured off a thousand. There was now a river in which I could not wade. The water had risen so high it could become a river which could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river, where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many trees on both sides. And he said to me, This water flows into the eastern district, down upon the Arab, and empties into the sea and the salt water, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow, their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flowing from the sanctuary. The fruit shall serve as food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth should be shaken, the mountains plunge in the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runnels gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. 
God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord. The astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. changes and transforms us and helps us to become the people 
that he's created us to be. Often, we don't see or realize the grace of God. Sometimes we miss the many miracles that are happening around us. We need to be open to God's grace and how it wants to work in us. And yes, at times we need to also be patient to allow that grace to do what it's going to do. So today, as we reflect on the readings of the gospel, let us have faith and trust that God's grace is pouring to you right here, right now. And allow that grace to do what it's going to do in us each and every day. Allow us to see the miracles. Allow us to see the ways in which the hand of God is helping us in all the different things, in all the different ways. We can put our trust in God because he does love us. And that grace does flow. And let us be patiently, patient with the grace to allow it to be the way God's will wants to be done. Now let us bring our petitions before God. Let us pray for the protection of all our health care workers, on which this Mass is being offered for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, for Pope Benedict Emeritus, and for all the bishops and cardinals of the world. For they will be good shepherds and guide the church in truth and integrity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all priests, all religious and all those who are striving to serve God, we will allow the grace of God to flow within us and transform us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All those who are sick, all those who are suffering around the world, that they may come into the presence of Christ and find healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord. Forces that God will send us angels to God to protect them in their time of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our president, our Congress, and our judges, that they'll be guided by the Holy Spirit in the conduct of their offices, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our intentions in our book of special needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our beloved dead and all those who mourn their passing, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we know that you are needs even before we ask this over those petitions for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ.
bring, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and pray to the Lord in his name for our good and the good of all his holy spirit. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself bestow. May they attach to your care as creator. For this our mortal life and affects in us the healing that brings us immortality. Christ our Lord. Similar way, the supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, or drink it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for you as sinners. Do this in memory of me. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every who graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. O Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those full of the soul of that. Lord, I'm not wishing to come to my roof. Oh, you can say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray. Renew them in this heavenly sacrament, that we may find health for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. Lord, be with you, with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke whom we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits. We pray about the world, and the ruin of souls. Amen. 
the divine prayer. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God and Mary most holy, blessed be our holy and immaculate conception, blessed be our glorious assumption, blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother, Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. And may the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised and adored and loved. And grateful to